Good morning and assalamu alaikum to all of you. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. I welcome you all once again in online class of English. My name is Shivana Tahir. And this class is especially for those students who did not have their class on Friday, okay? So please get your pencils and student book and workbook ready. And let me share my screen with you. Okay, students. Okay, so today we are going to cover a topic, the use of may and might. Okay, as you know that you use these words may and might in your daily routine most of the time. And uh, let me explain you um, this one first and then you'll be able to understand yes you like um, you would realize that yes we, we do use these words in our daily routine so look at my slide very carefully and listen to me very carefully okay so may is used to express permission when you're asking permission from somebody then we use may and may not is used to deny permission as it is clear from the fact that may not would be used when the permission is not allowed, it's denied. For example, look at the examples below. May I come in, sir? Yes, you may. That means that per this, the, this was um, the, the use of may indicates that um, it expresses a permission and the answer was in a positive way. When we say, may I go home now? No, you may not. That means over here, may not is used to deny permission. So right now we're just talking about may, that way we use may and how do we use may. Okay. <clears throat> may is also used to express possibility. Like when there's a possibility of something, then we use may. For example, it may rain. She may come. He may get good marks. So you see that when there's an expression of possibility of doing something or having something or happening something, so we use may over there as well. May is also used in expressing a wish. When you're expressing a wish, then we use may as well. May God bless you. As you see that these all sentences which are used here, we use these words in our daily routine. When something is dead, we say may his soul rest in peace. So again use may to express a wish. Okay, now the use of might. As you see that might is the past tense of may and might shows less possibility than may right so when there is a less possibility of uh, something then we use might for example when we say it may rain that means that it may be a possibility of 50 percent but when we say it might rain so it uh, it says and it expresses that it's a there's a possibility of 30 percent that's why you used might instead of may Okay, now come to page number 93 of your student book. Over there, may and might is given. Just write on classwork day and date. Okay, write down classwork day and date. And, and it's written here, may and might. You will write on the Friday's date, okay? So what was the date yesterday? Yes, yesterday was, <coughs> yes, yesterday, yesterday was 16th of October 2020 and it was Friday yesterday. So write on yesterday's date, okay? So may and might. Look at your books now and I'm reading from here from a slide. 
you can use may or might to talk about something when you are not sure it will happen, right? So we use may or might when there is less possibility of something and you're not sure it's going to happen or not, then you use may or might. So let's read the example here. Wind may be one important source of energy in the future. This is something we're not sure about it, but there's a possibility of it. So that's why we use may here. Renewable energy might also reduce our need for fossil fuels. So over here, it's the possibility is very less. So that's why we use might here. And they're saying renewable energy might also reduce our need for fossil fuels. So if we use renewable energy, then of course, it will reduce our need for the fossil fuels if we use it. So there's a less, less possibility. That's why we use might here, okay? And sometimes you need to look at the sentence to see that either might adjusts there um, positively or may. So you, when you'll be reading a sentence, then you'll be able to understand either you have to use may or might here. Change the sentences to show you're not sure it will happen. Use may and might, okay? Number one is already done. I might visit my aunt on Sunday. My family will see a movie this weekend. So what you will use here. <coughs> yes. What you will use here. You have to cross this one. Will. Right. And then you have to write down either you will use might here or may here. My family might see a movie this weekend. When specifically we talk about some days or specifically the days are mentioned like Sunday, weekend, on Saturday. So we probably use might there, right? So I will go to soccer practice on Saturday. So again, you have to cross will here and you have to see that either you have to use may or might. I may go to soccer practice on Saturday. I might go to soccer practice on Saturday. It's up to you, okay? Okay, now come to page number 82 of your workbook and write down Friday's day and date. <clears throat> Okay, 16th of October 2020, classwork and day is Friday. So, you, you have been given some pictures here. So, you would not be able to use may and might with your own choice here, right? Like, it, it is much easier over here that you have been given already the pictures. Some of the pictures are crossed here and some of the pictures are not crossed here. And there's a girl there. So, you have to circle may may not might might not by looking at these pictures right number one it may may not rain today so look at where is the rain picture oh over here so what it shows cross that means you will use it may not rain today understand number two she may may not go swimming look at the swimming picture yes she may go swimming. Okay. Number three. She might, might not go shopping. She might, might not. So see the shopping picture. Where is it? Where is the shopping picture? Yes. over here right so it's crossed so it would be she might not go shopping number four she may may not go to the park so is she going to the park yes she may go to the park so you will circle may number five she might might not go sailing where is the sailing picture yes it's not crossed so she might go sailing Number six, she might, might not finish her homework. So she might not finish her homework. It's really bad. She should finish her homework, isn't she? 
Yes. Okay. Now look at page number 83 of your workbook and write down classwork day and date at the top. Okay. Okay, complete the sentences with the phrases in the box. You have been given these phrases in the box over here. Maybe, may have, may not run out, might make, might hurt, might not be able to. So you need to look at the sentences and see that which word from the word bank fits in these sentences, okay? One day, wind power, dash, enough energy for everybody. One day wind power may be enough energy, may have enough energy, may not run out enough energy, might make enough energy, might hurt enough energy, or might not be able to enough energy. So which one fits here? Yes, one day wind power might make enough energy for everybody. So over here, so this one would be crossed. Number two, we dash of fossil fuels in the next 10 years. So you need to look at the sense of the sentence as well. So might hurt of fossil fuels? No. May have? We may have a fossil fuel. Does it make sense? No. We might not be able to a fossil fuels? No. We may not run out. We may not run out of fossil fuels in the next 10 years. Number three. We dash store solar energy without a power plant. We might not be able to store energy without a power plant. Of course, we need to have a power plant to store energy. Number four, we dash a cleaner planet if we use renewable energy. Yes, we may have a cleaner planet if we use a renewable energy. Number five, solar power dash more important than natural gas one day. Solar power may be more important than natural gas one day. Wind turbines dash the birds, might hurt the birds. Okay, now the D part. D part is complete the sentences with may, might, may not, or might not. So you have to look at the picture again and you have to write down which one fits in the blank. There dash be enough solar power for everybody. So look at the picture. It's all light up and the girl is happy as well. So there may be enough solar power for everybody. Circle may and write on may here, okay? Number two, there dash be any gas in 20 years. So look, no more gas there. Might not be any gas in next 10 years. Number three, we dash be able to collect much solar energy today. Hmm? Yes, we might be able to collect much solar energy today. Number four, we dash get a lot of electricity from the wind. We dash get a lot of electricity from the wind. Yes, we might, because there are a lot of wind turbines there, so we might get a lot of electricity from the wind. E part is, Write about what you might do this weekend. Use may or might and may not or might not. So you have to use these four words. Right? May, might, may not, or might not. Right? 
So if somebody asked me to make sentences, I would make a um, sentence like, hmm, I would make a sentence. Yes, you also think over it. Yes, I will make a sentence. I might not go for shopping this weekend. I may help my mother in baking a cake on Sunday. Right? So you have to use your own choice of sentences and words and to make two sentences using any two words. Like if you use may or might, use may not or might not that's up your own choice okay so i may go for uh, jogging on saturday i might not be able to complete my work on weekend so you can make any sentence that what are you going to do this weekend if you I may not do that thing on weekend you will use may not if you may do that thing this weekend you can use may or you can use might or might not that's your own choice okay so that's all for today thank you so very much for listening to me and please complete your work which i just discussed with you because uh, when you will come on uh, in the coming week then i will start inshallah the next topic of your grammar so I will not uh, do this work again in the class. So I'm sure you will complete your work and you will do your work on time. See you next week, inshallah. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.